Hello everyone, how are you? May you be in peace. Today we will see the things that are of concern in many countries. This is about the Nephilims. Most governments try to hide this fact, but we will see this today. The questions we will answer in this program are as follows. Where did the fallen angels come from? Who are the fallen angels? Were they abstract or clothed in human flesh? What kind were they? How do sex with humans? What kind of children are born? Who are the Nephilim? Did they exist in our world up to now? Dear viewers, like and subscribe to this program and become a family. I am entering the program we see these fallen angels written in the first book of Enoch, chapters 2 through 3. Book of Enoch chapter 2 This happened after the human race in those months. Handsome and handsome daughters are born. The angels of heaven saw them and loved them. They said to each other, Let us choose women from among mankind, and let us bear children. Smazia, their chief, does not want me to do this work. They said that I will be the only one who will receive the punishment for the eternal sins. They all replied that we should not change this advice and that we should take this advice seriously. At that time, they all came together and separated from each other, all two hundred of them. So, in the book of Enoch, these are what we call fallen angels, and these are the angels who had sexual relations with human beings. The children they gave birth to were up to three thousand cubits, but the human being is three cubits from one arm. These fallen angels told them a secret that cannot be told to the children of men. Among them, they were carrying out what we call genetic editing, which God does not allow, by moving human embryos into animals and animals into humans. You will find the full information on written Enoch. The second one Moses says this in the Torah. When Adam's children began to multiply on the earth, it happened that daughters were born to them. The angels of God saw them in this year of Jubilee. They were beautiful and took them as wives from among all those they chose, and they gave them sons. This is written in Genesis 6. This is the second source and the third one is found in the same way in the book of Cuphale, and it says like this, God's angels saw them in this jubilee year. They saw them, and they took them as wives from among all those they chose, and gave them sons. Now many of them have been researched, and it is these studies that I present to the audience today. I invite you to follow until the end. So when we examine it as a whole, the situations are divided into three. The first observation is that these fallen angels are angels, not human beings. The second is that the fallen angels are not angels, they are daughters. They are the ones born with human beings, not angels. The third observation is that they are angels made to wear flesh. So we will list these three observations thoroughly as a researcher. When we try to see the first idea, Lactitanios, that between 250-325 GC, it is the fallen angels who procreated with human beings and gave birth to 3,000 cubits long children. People argue that three arms cannot give birth to 3,000 cubits long children. All the debaters raise the holy writing as a point of argument, but we are looking at all of them. The second observation is that they are not angels at all. The children of heaven are called the angels or the children of God in the writing of Moses. The daughters of Dekaik Seth and the son of Adam are the sons of Cain whom they married. The women of the sons of Adam say that they are called angels because their work, food and rest is prayer, and thanksgiving, and they live in seclusion because their behavior is like that of angels. But the sons of Cain were committing many sins under the mountain. They committed adultery a lot. However, a mission, when the mission concerns the sons of Cain, their boss danced in the middle with a drum and struck by the spear of adultery, for when he saw it, he went and told it to his brothers. We are here to thanks, life in there is different. When his brothers looked at the girls down at the bottom of the mountain, they say let's all take one girl for each one of us. But the leader of them which is called Smeazy told them to stop what they are going to do but then again they say no. Then Smeazy said that I will accept the punishment. And they started living with Cain children. From there, they wrote that they gave birth to very tall children and that they gave birth to very small children who were shorter than human beings. It is very surprising. This is the second observation. The third category of wine observation is the idea that angels are sent to wear flesh. This is a wide research. These were the angels who lived in heaven and they came down to earth many times after their will and married wives from human beings. For God created human flesh for them to keep the law and the commandment because of the pride of their hearts. Listen carefully to me here and we recommend to answer the question of how these angels clothed in flesh. On the book of Kibernegist, this writing says that there were angels who woke Adam up and because they were too proud, he clothed them in flesh to humiliate them. And this is what these angels said. You gave everything to Adam. You made the animals obey him. You made the sun and the moon to shine for him. You created him in your aspect. How did he eat the figs? They said that he had lowered himself. Then God answered to them why do you criticize Adam, saying that he is flesh and blood. But the angels asked God to allow us to speak once in a while. And God said, I will allow you. And ask me what you want about Adam. 
and I will answer you. And these angels say, Adam, you gave him everything. There is nothing wrong with you. So they said that Adam is very weak. God said, I created Adam from earth, water, wind, and fire, and I gave him ten consciences. The five good five are determined by his free will. And those angels told God that we will not break your command and clothe them with flesh. And God says to them, If you are deceived by transgressing my word, it will be on your own. The fire of hell will find you. Until the great day, you will be faced by an unbreakable chain that will not be released forever. But if you win, you will be royal. This is a conversation between the two, that is, God and his angels. You will also find this kibber nejist. From there, God clothed them with flesh and then they came to the earth and when they saw the children of Cain, they could not bear to see the children's songs, fornication, shouting, and they took the wives of their choice. This is the process by which the proud angels were humbled and descended to earth. Then the children of these fallen angels who were born from intercourse with human beings were up to 3,000 cubits tall and they were so tall that they tore their mother's wombs. You can take this as a starting point and continue your own investigation. You will find this in the book I mentioned above. After that, they taught the world many sinful activities that were not allowed. So, three observations look like this. Next, how did they disappear? What kind of work did they do in the next generation? I will make a video. Subscribe and like the channel and tie next. God be with you.